disease we'll come, come together, together right now over me Well, welcome everybody here at the Acorn and, and on the internet or on YouTube and we're on Facebook. Woo. Well, this is, this is quite amazing for us. Uh, we haven't performed on a proper stage, I think since February 29th, 2020. We've been in our little studio in separate rooms. Gentlemen, good to see your faces. It's nice. We're here uh, for two, two very important reasons. So the first one is what surrounds us. Uh, this is the Acorn Theater. You know that if you're here, but if you're watching from close or far, this is an amazing performing arts facility. Nate, Eric, and I got to see it in a very different spot 14 years ago. Yes. And whoever took over, the people we've been talking to have turned this into a proper performing arts center. This it is, is gorgeous. This is a mecca for music in Michigan, I think. And as everybody knows, the last year have been quite hellish on any uh, <laughs> venue that would like to operate. So we really need venues to come back and stay strong, and this is how we can help make that happen. We're here to help keep the acorn alive, and you can do that by going to acornlive.org. Dot org, and the, uh, that sort of matches with the other important thing we're here to do. Uh, it's sort of silly. It's like saying Michael Jordan's your favorite athlete. If you're sure. from Chicago, to say the Beatles sure. is your favorite band, but... It's Michael true. Jordan is my favorite athlete, and the Beatles are my favorite band. And this, this might be the best album of all time. Uh, we're playing the album from top to bottom, Abbey Road. That, of course, was come together, written by John Lennon, actually for a political campaign in the 60s. Can you yes. imagine? Is that can you, Walter Mondale? No, it was not. But can you imagine that <laughs> if, like, John wrote your, your song? So we're going to play that whole album. If Annie put on the bottom of the screen, uh, acornlive.org. You can get the info, you can donate. Oh my goodness, what a donation would mean today. Yeah, what <laughs> Erica said it. Uh, so the next tune on this album is really something. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much, I've been wow. thinking of that. Well, my favorite uh, anecdote about this song, Nate, is the Frank Sinatra one, you know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh yeah, this is great. So like Sinatra- This is like something I would do. Yeah, this is a Nate-ism. <laughs> Definitely. This is a something, the next song on this album is track two, side one. Mm. Uh, was written by George Harrison. It might be George Harrison's most beautiful song. I'm wearing um, an outfit in tribute to him tonight. You sure are. I've spent the entire pandemic growing my hair to his length, and it hasn't gotten there quite yet. No. Nate, too. But we'll get there, Nate. Don't worry. So I'm, I'm rooting for my George Harrison. George Harris, you're, funny, you're funnier than me, sir. Aww. So Frank Sinatra says this next song we're going to play is his favorite of all the Lennon and McCartney songs. <laughs> is that a, it's a compliment, though, for George, too, right? Poor George. So uh, let's, 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 let's not waste any more time, band. 
Let's get right to it. This is track two, something. And we can hear you clapping in your home, too. Uh, so keep that, uh, keep yeah. that applause and energy going. We're going to check in with everybody at home at some point during the show. So, guys, this is a, such a good album that the songs that I thought maybe in my childhood and high school were, were a throwaway have even grown on me more. And I think this next song is, a, is an interesting example of it, that. It comes across as silly. It is silly. I like I like silly. But there's some fun words that don't exist in this song. Right. Did did Paul make up the word pataphysical, or is that a word? I think somebody Nate made doesn't that know up. it. I don't know. Somebody made a pataphysical. That is not a word. <laughs> well, I hope that this is not a true story. Some of Paul's songs are a true story. This one is about a killer, but it's kind of a it's kind of in a silly in a silly bent. Let's try it. This is a Maxwell's Silver Hammer, and it's track three on Abbey Road Side One. A Joan was quizzical, studied pataphysical science in the home. Late nights all alone with a test tube, oh, 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 oh. Maxwell Edison, majoring in medicine, calls her on the phone. Can I take you out to the pictures, Joan? Oh, oh, oh. But as she's getting ready, Go. A knock comes on the door. Bang, bang, Maxwell Silver Hammer came down upon her head. Bang, bang, Maxwell Silver Hammer made sure that she was dead. Back in school again, Maxwell 
Sometimes the fool again teacher gets annoyed Wishing to avoid an unpleasant scene Times I must not be so loud. But when she turns her back on the boy, he creeps up from behind. Bang, bang, Maxwell Silver Hammer came down upon his head. Bang, bang, Maxwell Silver Hammer made sure that she was dead. Pictures of oh, oh, oh. Rose and Valerie saving from the gallery say he must go free. Maxwell must go the free. judge does not agree and he tells them so. Oh, oh, oh. But as the words are leaving his lips, a noise comes from behind. Bang, bang, Maxwell Silver. And sometimes that one's a bop. Is that what they say? They it's do say bop. it, Nate. It's a bit of a bop. You know, the kids say that now too in America. Uh, they do. You know, we should throw uh, on the bottom of our screen real quick the web address one more time. It's acornlive.org. Save this stage. Save it. Come on. I mean, actually, they're doing they're doing good, yeah. but we need to we need to bring <laughs> them into the future. Well, and they're doing such great work. They've been making improvements during the pandemic. They did a bunch of installation of new carpeting. And it really does look beautiful in here, and it still has its old eclectic warehouse itself. It's actually right, it's Erica's Taste. It's like state of the art, but cool. It's right at, it's right at the center of Erica's yeah. Taste. Yeah, it is. So uh, that, that's who's bringing you Abbey Road. It's, it's the acorn, and, and we love them for it. This We're next, so grateful. This next tune on Abbey Road is, to me, it's like, wait a minute, guys. You're the Beatles. You've already done like 12 amazing albums. All of Abbey Road is great, and they just randomly throw on a perfect 50s American tune. I know they wrote it, but like they loved, please, Mr. Post. They respected that music. They loved a lot. the Supremes and they loved, you know, they, oh, darling, this next tune is like a perfect, it's a real, it's like yeah. a little Richard tune. Yeah. It was John's obsession, most likely. We have the perfect person to sing it for you. <laughs> so let's give it a try. <laughs> Oh! 
feels nice to sing for humans again. I like humans more than screens. <laughs> but we love you too. Well, they're, they're humans behind the screens. Yeah, true. Very true. A few out of tune over there. Yeah, you know. You know, bass players, man. It's got to be it's got to be perfect. Well, especially for this you next got Paul, one. You got Paul's part, so. I got all the Paul parts. So we're kind of we're kind of doing a switcheroo. We're not a Beatles tribute band, as you could see. No. My hair didn't grow the right amount. Adams did. Wrong people. Playing so, right-handed. So, uh, <laughs> for instance, on the next song, uh, Nate and Adam will share Ringo's part. Right. I and Erica will split John and George's part. Yes. And Erica and Nate will split Paul's part. Fun. So that's how we're doing it this this whole this this whole time. It's sort of a fun switcheroo. We put it all together the way it made sense to us in this band. Yeah, we're not doing much interpreting. No, we're trying to do a very faithful representation. But you know, you can't get every every orchestral note in. I tried to get the budget to hire that <laughs> thirty-three piece orchestra. Well, but it was a good it was a good try, my friend. I mean, I tried. Do you mind if we feature you on this song? <laughs> I do not mind at all. It's I would love uh, it. it's Ringo's. I know, and I love it. The real trick is I try not to sing it like Ringo too much. Cause you have like, to a little. I love to do an impression, though, and like I'm trying real hard not to sure, do a Ringo sure. impression. Right, right, right. You don't so want to like, do an impression. No, but like... And you're so good at impressions. So sorry if like I lean real hard into Kant. I'm definitely going to be see because we can't be found. I like so, that. I, uh, you know, I automatically cool. pr pronounce a couple of yeah. British idioms. Garden. Garden yeah. sounds so much nicer. Yes, garden. And act, act the pussy's garden. We're pussy's from Chicago. And act the Terrible. pussy's garden with, with yellow mustard on it. Yes, it's real and nice a little bit of uh, some pickles. All right. <laughs> In an octopus's garden in the shade He let us in, knows where we've been In his octopus's garden in the shade I'd ask my friends to come and see An octopus's garden with me I'd like to be under the sea in an octopus's garden in the shade We would be warm below the storm In our little hideaway beneath the waves Resting our head on the seabed In an octopus's garden near a cave We would sing and dance around because we know we can't be found I'd like to be under the sea In an octopus's garden in the shade Best Ringo. We gotta say thank you to some folks. How about oh Sarah Belasco? Oh, thank you, Sarah and Rebecca Anderson, Alex Thornburg, Jana Koch, yeah. Ramsey. I know a lot of these people. I know a lot of these Ramsey people. Ellis, Mark Finley, Thomas Thornburg, Ed Cavado, Chris Page. I love I love reading names. <laughs> Mike Paquette, 
Ooh, you guys are awesome. Thank you yeah, so we're, much. We're, we're, oh, yeah, and, and Sandra has them written down. We got a little bit of um, camera. Keep nice. those donations coming in. You're going to keep this place alive and well. And we want to come back, hey, so, like, we need your AJ help. and Annie, can you just for a second indulge me? Get a shot up here. Look at, look at this stuff, AJ. They have this huge pipe organ that includes cymbals. That can be banged. And a xylophone is up above there. I love an old school uh, pipe organ. So yeah. someday we'll make them make that work and let me play with it. And they just installed some state of the art cool stuff, too. I love state of the art cool stuff, Erica. It's like the best. All right, we are at the end of the easy part of this album. So, like, <laughs> uh, the, that's, the, that's the end of the easy part. Now, if you're going to learn this album at home, stop right there. <laughs> You've done it. Well, you haven't. But. No, you haven't. But it's a little frustrating after that point. Mm hmm. In a good way. In like a push us to the musical limits, make us our best. As a band, we talk a lot about uh, song form. We also tour with this guy named Al Stewart quite a bit, and he's very into song form. And lyrics and especially. And what I mean about form is like verse, chorus, heading over to the bridge, you know, standard form. This next tune, what form is this tune? I don't know what this is. It's like A, B. Don't, <laughs> don't try and C hold plus. the wind, baby. <laughs> yeah, Nate. You can't cage You, you the never wind. have had a, a sure better idea. <laughs> Let's shout a couple people out on, uh, on, on Facebook if we can. Real quick. Ronald Toltevar, what's up, dude? Thanks for watching, man. And we're going to shout out more at intermission. Sounds fine. All right, I got a tune specifically for this. This is a, a double namer. I like a parentheses namer song, you know what I mean? I want you parentheses. She's so heavy. It makes me feel like whenever that happens, the songwriter is like, I got some shit to say. Yeah. And I, gotta, I gotta throw it it's in parentheses. Important. It's and... important. We can't just say I want you. We need to know the rest. All right, so wait, I'm, I'm officially, I'm tuned. I'm gonna attempt Billy Preston's part. Excellent. Wish me luck. So now Erica's gonna be Billy Preston and John. <laughs> and I'll be John and George. Fun. Nate, can you just be Paul? I'm just gonna just, just chill gonna over be there and be Paul. Paul. That's cool. Straight up Paul. That's tough enough. <laughs> Adam, you're Ringo and Pete Best, so keep them right. keep them both up over there. One, two, three, four. you so bad, babe. I want you. I want you so bad. It's driving me mad. It's driving me mad. I want you. I want you so bad, babe. I want you. I want you so bad. 
that a side one? Side one? Okay. okay. It's the end of side one right there. Thanks for wooing. It feels nice. It does. It does. We got stuff to talk about. Uh, about this beautiful, beautiful theater. But I, like I said, I want to shout out a couple of a couple of more comments. What I like to say: prove we're live. But while you're looking for comments, don't forget, go to acornlive.org oh and God. make a donation. Literally this minute. Literally. We're gonna Why shout not? out Rob Riley. Rob. He says terrific. How about Paul Anderson? He says, uh, beautiful. Am I am I just filtering the good comments? Uh, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. That's my, I, I get to choose when I'm reading it here. There's comments all over the place, though. Uh, hey to Jim Ellis and to Dave oh, Cummings. Yeah. Thank you guys all so much for watching. You're, you're, you're wonderful. And we love, we love being here. All right. So this Acorn Theater has really changed things up. It's changed a lot in 15 years, but they've changed a lot like this year. For instance, new carpeting on the risers. It's quite nice. I laid on it. And I sat on all the seats. Smart, really feel it. It's quite clean. And it's brand new. There's a beautiful new entryway also, so which also opened up new seating. So there's a double whammy here. It's beautiful fabulous. new entryway, more seating. I mean, that's a great improvement. Yeah, it, it's it's really great. And of course, you, like we've been saying, uh, I feel like in a good way, we're in the. I wish we had mugs to give away. Like we we're in between acts on a PBS like show. A tote yeah, yeah, yeah. bag or something. Like if you like this album, my goodness, the programming here. At the Acorn Theater provides all sorts of stuff like this. You know, if you didn't catch the so beginning, bad. they're doing a Carol King tribute, a <laughs> Bruce Springsteen tribute. Wait, isn't it like a really good jazz Bruce Springsteen standards. tribute band? They're the like best. the yeah. best. The best. I mean, like we're at the Acorn, so it's. I'm the checking best. out the jazz standards. Oh, Adam's, the jazz standards. Adam's live streaming those jazz standards right now during the show. <laughs> <laughs> he's just he's got that going. Yeah, I'm that. So you know, another little fun fact about this album that we're playing through today is the Beatles never played it. Yeah, which um, which basically means that I mean they they played it physically, but they they played it in a recording studio, so they were playing one at a time, you know, recording their part. Never really in a live situation where they had to play and sing and perform it at the same time. So uh, cowards. It's a th that's the type of programming that I'm talking yeah. about. Other stuff that's new here, though, I'm really excited about. They put in a new projector screen. Uh, yeah. It's right behind us, but it, that's like full movie theater yeah. size. Yeah. I'm feeling like a Rocky Horror Picture Show Ooh. midnight showing at some point. Uh, that would be fun. That sounds really you fun. You and me, we could both dress up like Dr. Frankenfurter. It's just like a Tuesday, my friend. It's just another <laughs> it's Tuesday. Just another Tuesday. When you and I are out, Nate and I had to go out, as you know. And uh, So we got to thank everybody <laughs> who helped uh, raise the money. I'm sure it was an extremely uh, inexpensive thing to do. Put sure. a screen and a projector in. That's easy. So I, if, if you matched a donation, we appreciate it because the improvement is here and it's real. Also, yeah, check out that website, yeah, acornlive.org. We're featuring the show that's going on right now. Yes. It's meta or in the future because wow. the show is saved and you could watch it later. And they do, like Erica said, and like Sandra said earlier, they got this sweet outdoor schedule coming up where everybody can safely enjoy live music again because it's like hurting my soul yeah not we, having music and baseball we need it we need it we, so we really do they're doing like an acorn outdoors thing and you're, you're gonna want to check it out for sure so it, it's a nonprofit, and that means when you click uh, uh, when you click donate and you donate you can like i'm not good at that stuff but you can like get credit for write that in off. some way if yeah. you you know, if you make a bunch of money and that means something to you, we're called the yeah, empty you're pockets. Write it yeah, off so you're gonna don't write take that our off. financial advice. No, we don't. We're not giving any financial advice. No. We're the legally more you obligated donate, to. The more you can write off. Yeah, from yeah. what I understand. Yes. Is that how it works? Excellent, excellent. Great. Uh, <laughs> and and we, 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 we love that you're donating. Keep those donations coming in. I was born to, to run a telethon. I just <laughs> want to do a 24 hour telethon and have the number behind me. If Leslie Nope will come join us, I'm in. Right? Yes. That's the telethon I want to do at that level of production. Yes. Thank you, Erica. You're welcome. Um, another really cool thing that we have to mention on our, uh, this is our act break. Yes. Like the proverbial. We're switching the, the sides. The sides are being switched. Just very slowly. Just very slow. They are doing their ninth annual singer-songwriter competition. Ooh, that like the, the Acorn sponsors. Like Acorn Idol. Except it's singer-songwriter. So it's even better. Cool. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's their ninth annual competition, and anybody, anybody can join. So you just got to go to the Acorn ho homepage and type in competitions. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to join. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to compete. I love to compete. P.S. 
Uh, they do it with judges and audience voting, totally American Idol style. That sounds nerve-wracking and tip difficult, but it sounds really fun. Sounds awesome. So if you got songs or if you're a performer, you gotta you gotta jump on that. Yes, I know for that. That sounds great. Or cut your teeth, just learn all of Abbey Road. Huh. And uh, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Y'all. I don't know. I've done it, and I don't recommend it. Yeah, it's not. It's not easy. Uh, we're actually thinking not to like get it too ahead of ourselves, but uh, the band Fish inspired us to learn this album because they learn. They become another band every Halloween. Uh huh. So we're thinking next year for Halloween. I was thinking maybe like a Fleetwood Mac album. It's just it's just rumors. I don't know what. Uh, no, no, no. It's all true. It's all true. So we'll we'll see what we. That joke has so many legs. It really, it really <laughs> honestly does. Wow. I love it so much. So that that's what's going on here. I hope you donate. I hope you enjoy uh, enjoyed side one. I sure enjoyed side one. But side two, guys. It's got like crickets on it. It's even freaking better. I'm so excited. So it starts with a perfect song for right now. Uh, I have a single dose vaccine in me. Me too. Erica, you got two. Adam's got two. Nate's got one. And it makes me feel like we're almost back. Here comes the sun, y'all. Erica, that's right. How did you know that? I know. It's unbelievable. <laughs> you guessed that? Oh, you, you learned this album, too. I did. I did. So this is another brilliant uh, sort of maybe not doesn't get enough credit Beatle of the four of them. Sure. Another brilliant George Harrison tune and deceptively complicated. Uh, should we get to it? Like, Let's should we do side two? Let's do it. Adam's I'm, ready. I'm All geared right. up. Well, uh, online audience and uh, in-person audience, Annie, Daniel, our crew, AJ, let us do side two. You know, it's funny, before we start, uh, uh, Nate and I were talking backstage. We, Nate and I have been in a band together for 15 years, and it's a very small crowd here tonight in person and isn't even close to the smallest crowd. Not even in the top ten. No. In front of. no, this is amazing. We could go way, way smaller than this. I could, I could definitely name the top ten right now. <laughs>
tonight. Thank you for your more donations. Steve Matsuo. Thanks, brother. Lindsay Thompson, very generous. We really appreciate it, Lindsay. And Ronald Olson, our friend. Thank you very much, Ronald. Ooh, ooh. Thanks, Keep Ron. those donations coming in, because here comes the sun. We got outdoor shows here in the Three Oaks area. A lot of awesome places to stay. You know what else is a cool, if you're watching from Chicago, a cool thing to do that Eric and I have done pre-COVID, obviously, is do a weekend in this area. You could see an acorn show and go to one of the many breweries around. So cool. Yeah. Lots of distilleries as well. We're by the Journeyman Distillery right next door. Like, you can have a pretty, I mean, turn off your computers if you're in Napa, California. Okay. Just give them a second. Just mute it. Just mute it. Sure. You can have a very similar experience to Napa <laughs> here in Michigan. I've been to Napa, and it's lovely. It's also like 10 times more money. Everything is like 10 times more. Come here. Go to all the breweries, have some wine. We're so centrally located. It's just delightful. It's just a drive. All right, acornlife.org. So uh, there's a controversy in my mind, which is... Where does the medley start? You read, you read my mind. I thought so. I thought so. So you can answer that question for yourself. Where does the medley start? I always thought it started here. Sure, okay. That I think it sense. starts right before the end. And right after it uh, Right and after, yep. Sounds good to me. Uh, the other starting place, some people put it as you never give me your money, which is coming up. And then the other starting place maybe Sun King. I, I don't know where the medley no, starts. No, not Sun King because the effects are already in, which we'll be doing ourselves. Thank you very much. We do all our own stunts and effects. Be excited for that part. Okay, so without further ado. Here we go. Just, just because.
Saving up to buy some clothes Keeps a ten by load up his nose Such a mean old man A mean old man His sister Pam works in a shop She never stops, she's a go-getter Takes him out to look at the queen Where he shouts at thumbs of the bean Always shouts on something we've seen Such a dirty old man Dirty old man Well you should see how I think Pam She's so good looking but she looks like a man Well you should see her drive just in a black bag You should see how I think Pam Yeah, yeah, yeah I get a dose of fur and jack with a kill She's Kayla Dillow when she's dressed to the hill Yeah she's the kind of the girl that makes the news of the world Yes you could say she was attractively built I will sing a lullaby 
whispers away to get back homeward. Watch those away. girl but she doesn't got a lot to say her majesty's a pretty nice girl but she changes from day to day i want to tell her that i love her a lot i gotta get a belly full of wine her majesty's a pretty nice girl someday i'm gonna make her mine oh yeah someday i'm gonna make her mine well that's the end of abbey road We've got more we got people some to thank, thank yous. We love you, Mike Sisto. Thank you very much, my friend. Steve Francis. Steve. Stephen Hawk. Steve. What's up, brother? Gregory Duncan. Oh, 
Mark and Elaine Reagan, both of you, Thank fantastic. You, Love that. <laughs> Deborah and Alan Kaler, wow. very good people. Also, Don and Linda Malatesta. Oh, hello, the Malatesta. Our cousins. Love you, Malatestas. We, uh, thank you, Acorn, for all you're doing to support the arts and for featuring us, The Empty Pockets. That's from Mark and Elaine. Wow. Rhaegar. We also have a thank you for this terrific production of The Empty Pockets. That's from Alan and Deborah Kaler. Wow. Thank you, Ken. Thanks, thank guys. You. This is so fun. Uh, like wow. I said at the beginning, Guys, it was opening for George Lopez at the Rockford Coronado Arts Center on Crazy. February 29th. It was a leap year, right? Yeah. February 29th, uh, 2020. Last time we saw humans in a space to play music. And uh, so, so this you're, was you're all special. And very special. Thank you so, Thank much, you so for much for being, being here. here. Um, Thanks for also practicing social distancing and wearing your masks. We want everyone to know at home that that has been going very well tonight, and we appreciate it. Yeah, and get your vaccines. You know, like, I know that's political, but why? It's not, I'm not being political, I'm saying. My uncle had polio and that vaccine came out two weeks later and he wished he had that vaccine. That's so. such a good and real story. I've yeah. met Erica's uncle, Daniel, uh, uh, rest his soul, who lived in a wheelchair his entire life. He got polio weeks, months before the polio yeah. vaccine. Yeah, so vaccine. Um, anyway, not to let's get back to shout it. Your... Let's get back to it all together, I can't wait. All together, now we're gonna play all to wrap us up. Together. Just a couple, couple two tree things. A song I wrote. A couple songs I wrote. The first one's about imagining what it could be like next time. And I think I wrote it after a show thinking, man, what if we sold that place out next time we get here? But it's turned into like, whoa, maybe next time we're here at the Acorn, things are back at 100% capacity. You know, maybe next time we're back and everybody's smiling because we're like, God, you know what it's like to be in your house for a full year? Because all of us know what that's like so now. So let's get out and party at the Acorn and everywhere else. We Ooh. will see you there. Before we, uh, before we do that, do, I wanna, do we want to shout out any more uh, comments? We got we to gotta shout out our crew, the guy walking around everywhere, taking the, the, the camera. That's AJ Tarzian <laughs> mixing the sound here in this space. We got Tim with the Acorn back there. Thank you, Tim. Uh, mixing the sound for the live stream. That's how complicated this is. Uh, it, this, uh, it's Jux himself. It's Stan McCormick Dan over there. McCormick. And of course, our switcher and director, the youngest director in the biz, it's Annie Skayball. And why don't I go ahead and introduce the band at drums playing the part of Ringo slash other parts. It's Adam Belasco. <laughs> Nate has to get extra credit because <laughs> Paul's bass lines on this album are simply unfair. There's a bunch of stuff. I really appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. There's a bunch of stuff that I went through and listened to, and I was like, oh, no, that's hard. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of, uh, yes. And yes, then yes. this is my wife, Erica Brett, wonderful singer, keyboard thank player. Thank you, thank you. And to my right on stage, my handsome husband, Josh Salman on guitar, music directing. Him and Dan put this show together. We really appreciate the it. The whole board here at the Acorn, you guys are doing magical stuff. I mean, this is a fight worth fighting. This is a cause worth raising money for because without the arts, we are just animals walking around this planet. This is who we are as uh, human beings. And I'm thinking, did I say human beings? Wait, wait, you gotta hold that. Uh, my, my guitar is like Abbey Road. Um, Ruined? Yeah, it's like <laughs> protesting tune. It's like, whoa, dude, you just played Abbey Road. You want more from me? Let what it go. What do you want? Let it go, man. Let's go, Dan. You gotta imagine how great it could be when all you at home are here with us in person. Together, I will write all the wrongs early in the morning, singing Beatles songs. Or maybe next time we get together, no clouds in the sky, the sun shines bright all afternoon, and we kiss our cares goodbye. Oh, I can see it now. Tell me about it, Nate. Yeah, man. You know, we got your invitation. Oh, yeah. You know, you want to drink some brew. We got to roll some bones, NATO, we all just want to get home, oh my, hope you don't mind, trying to get off my feet, yeah. you know, so say what, to be cool. calling at the moon in the street, oh, baby, maybe next time, time. maybe next time. time, maybe next time, maybe next time.
together We'll right all the wrongs Early in the morning Singing Beatles songs Maybe next time we get together No clouds in the sky The sun shines bright all afternoon We kiss our cares goodbye Maybe next time we all get together We'll sell 10,000 seats We'll be at the arena We'll all be VIPs The radio plays in an afternoon days The blaring out our song Yeah, somehow folks know all the words Everybody singing along Maybe next time Maybe next time Maybe next time Maybe next time Maybe Maybe this time we get together We'll right all the wrong Early in the morning, singing Beatles songs. Maybe next time we get together, no clouds in the sky. The sun shines bright all afternoon, and we kiss our cares goodbye. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Thank you all. Maybe next time, indeed, we'll be back here. We'll see those outdoor shows. Oh, I can't wait. Bruce Springsteen cover band. Uh, lots of different Carol, uh, King. Carol Kings. They got five Carols, five Kings. That's going to be a great Singer, show. Singer-songwriter night. Uh, it's not too late to get your donations in. It's uh, acornlive.org. If you're tuning into us late, rewind this video. I was going to say, Go I have ahead. a feeling they accept donations all the time. It's a, uh, it's a non-profit, so they accept donations every day you of know, the year. Like you're watching this you know, next week. Do it again. Absolutely. You know? This is going to be right here on YouTube and Facebook, so you can come back to it and just pretend like you're watching it live all over again. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Anything else from the acorn that we should share? I feel like we've... All right, well, All right. any last words from you, my, my, my band? Thank you for in, indulging us, everyone. Yeah, thanks, and everyone. We, uh, we worked hard and hope that you enjoyed it. How about uh, you and Nate? This was great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Get those donations in. This song hopefully becomes less true where the other song becomes more true. Yes. <laughs> Song. It turned out anthemic, but there are no people at the stadium today. Even on the soft side of this pandemic, I wish that it would get up and go away. Wish that it would get up and go away.
wish that it would get up and go away.